What up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. Today we have a pickups video for you guys. And then on Friday, as always, we will have a couch co-op uh, session for you with my wife, Julie. And I uh, hope you guys join us for that. Um, today we're going to go over some pickups. Now, I usually do short videos for pickups, but I got some more this week. So I kind of saved it all up to just do a video for you guys. So we're going to start off with uh, some books that I, I picked up. The first one I actually just got from Amazon today because I had to order it from there because my local comic book store was out. So um, that's The Last Ronin, Issue 3. Um, this is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you guys haven't read this yet, um, this is 3 out of 5 that they're on right now. Um, it's fantastic. Go go check it out if you guys are Team Minty uh, fans. Uh, the second one is the official quotable Doctor Who book, um, Wise Words from Across Space and Time. Um, it's just a bunch of quotes from Doctor Who. I'm a huge Who fan. I'm a Whovian, if you want to, you know, say that. Um, and it's really cool. Uh, you guys go check this out. I read a couple of them. Um, it's it's funny. They're, they're, they're funny anecdotes, uh, so check it out. The next couple are Star Wars books. Uh, I got a Star Wars tales of the bounty hunters this is a star wars legend book um and then the next one is this is a good book um uh, star wars uh battlefront twilight company um check this one out if you guys haven't it's it's actually a pretty pretty decent book and then the third book i got is uh bioshock rapture now apparently this is a sequel to the game so um actually uh can't wait to get into this this uh, this will be kind of cool um, and then on to the games, uh, this week I picked up, uh, Mario Golf and, uh, you know, the little pin set that comes with it for, um, pre-ordering. Um, we are going to be, this is what we're playing on Friday. Well, I'm posting on Friday of us playing fantastic game. It's really fun guys. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's a really good game. So go, you guys should cop this game. Like seriously, if you guys want to have some good fun with some friends and family and stuff like that the next one uh is a uh, game builder garage this is sort of like a version of uh i don't know dreams if you guys ever play dreams on like the playstation um where you make your own games or you can play other people's games um however you have to go and find the codes online to play other people's games but it's really fun um to kind of like scout everybody else's games and uh check them out um I don't do much of the building. I, I don't have time for it, but I like to play other people's creations, basically. Um, and then uh, I just picked this up yesterday. Uh, it actually comes out tomorrow or today as you guys are watching it. But uh, that's uh, Alex Kidd in uh, Miracle World DX. This is a remake of the original one on the Sega Master System. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I've seen some gameplay of it, and it looks fantastic. I can't wait to dive into this. Um, so I remember the original one really well. Um, it was kind of Sega's first mascot. Yes, that's how old I am. Um, and uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is supposed to be a really good game. So um, The next one I got up is Mortal Shell, the deluxe set. Um, this has the steel book and an art book. And uh, let's see if I can get that up close. I don't know why it's being... My camera is being weird today. Um, it, enhanced edition. It comes with uh, the exclusive cover you see here. The it's enhanced for uh, for PS Five, obviously. Oh, it doesn't come with the steel book. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, but it does have a art book and postcards in it. So um, I am excited about uh, popping this open and checking it out. And uh, uh, I, I really liked the, when, when it first came out, so it'll be kind of cool to play it on PS5. Um, for PS5 as well, a Dark Alliance, um, this is the Steelbook edition, uh, this is the, uh, Steelbook art book digital soundtrack, um, I'm excited to play this. I did download it on Game Pass on Xbox, so I'm gonna play that first before I open this, because, you know, don't want to break the seal yet, but, uh, this game looks really good. Um... Rainbow Six Vegas on PS3. Yeah, it's the, the red variant, you know, the greatest hits. But I didn't have this in my collection, so I wanted to pick it up. Um, I am a fan of this game. So, um, and then the next one, um, I actually found this at a thrift store. Uh, this is the Harry, Harry, sorry, 
Harry Potter Lego Collection years one through four. And uh, it's kind of like this long box variation uh, collector's edition. And it comes with, uh, it comes with like two discs and it's supposed to come with some magnets. They're not in here. That's why I got it for so cheap. So I am going to try to find the magnets. They're like little Lego magnets, I think. And, um, I'm going to try to find them on eBay or something and, uh, complete the set. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, I, I've never seen this before, so that's why I grabbed it. And then I did get two hardware, um, items. What, the first one is a Coral Pink, uh, Nintendo DS, uh, Lite. It's in perfect condition. Um, I caught this really cheap and the thing plays well. I just, I basically cleaned it up. I opened it up, cleaned everything. It's a hundred percent pristine. Um, I like handhelds. I like to collect handhelds in different variations and colors and stuff. So I really thought that this color was kind of cool. It reminds me of like Pepto Bismo or something like that. So, um, yeah, uh, I've been playing with it. Uh, it's fun. And then the big one for me, um, on this pickups video, this is, uh, something that I've been wanting to do and finally did. And, um, that is a Game Boy Color uh, with a new IPS screen in it and white it out. Um, I've always wanted, this is sort of my holy grail of Game Boy Colors. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, it is just gorgeous to me. I, I love just the all white is awesome. Like I said, it does have an IPS screen. Uh, let me pop a game in here and turn it on for you guys. So you get that nice, really bright coloring. It does have a touch sensor for brightness. Um, yeah, I just basically put it all together and, you know, had to order the screens and, you know, put put everything together myself. Um, and I did make my wife one, too. I made her a, a Sailor Moon one for her birthday, um, and she absolutely loved it. So maybe uh, she'll show you that, guys, uh, on Friday if uh, if she, uh, she wants to. I don't know. But anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys have picked up uh, lately. Um, and if you guys are uh, excited for any games coming out or anything like that, uh, drop me a comment. Um, don't forget to hit our, uh, to hit subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell um, and that like button. Uh, guys, it really, really does help. And uh, we'll see you next time. Um, actually, we'll see you Friday. And uh, you guys stay safe out there. Stay out of the heat and uh, keep your guys self, keep yourselves hydrated. That's, you know, very important right now. Anyways, guys, see you later. Bye and uh, bye.